2015 comes to a close. Time to reflect on the highs and the lows of this year in politics. But this is the year Republicans reclaim control of both chambers of Congress and that the 2016 presidential race shifted into high gear. Here for a fair and balanced look back and also forward, Emily Jashinsky of the Young Americans Foundation and radio talk show host Mark Levine, who is about to become a member of the Virginia House of Delegates. So, Mark, uh, we will give you an unqualified winner status uh, for 2015 Thank going you. forward. Congratulations. Thank you. And we will start with you as well. Uh, Suffice it to say, Donald Trump was a winner this year? Yes, he was a winner. He came from way behind. No one expected he would do anything. And he's the front runner of the Republican Party. He's absolutely a winner. All right, so Emily, how, doesn't he, how does he not uh, screw it up come next year when it really matters? <laughs> well, I can't argue that he's a winner, but he does actually have a real uphill climb, I think, in this election. So when you look at the people of Iowa who are going to go into a voting booth, listen to the candidates and say, this is the person I want to lead the free world, he's going to have a tougher time convincing voters that that's actually what needs to happen. All right, so Mark, uh, Ted Cruz, uh, senator from Texas, uh, coming ahead now in Iowa, leading in the Iowa polls. Winner or loser or still uh, too early to tell? I would say somewhere between too early to tell and a winner. I think he's doing better than people expected, but he's still got a ways to go. So, Emily, how does uh, Ted Cruz turn this momentum into a real win uh, for 2016? Yeah, so I think he's really going to need to, as soon as sort of these other candidates start to drop out, especially after Iowa, Ted Cruz is going to have the opportunity to really say what his message is, what he stands for, and why he's different than some of the other candidates. That's where he's going to have to really solidify what distinguishes him, and that's how he's going to be an even bigger winner. All right, and now as we move on to the Democrats, Hillary Clinton, uh, she had a present under her tree of some significantly higher poll numbers coming out of this last debate. Emily, does that make her a winner for 2015 or net net? Has this uh been a bad year? Absolutely not. Net bad year. I mean, I can't believe if you told some of us in 20, uh, the end of 2014 what would be coming out about Hillary Clinton in 2015. I think we would believe it, but man, was it a rough year from her between the Benghazi hearings and the email scandal that will not go away. We might think it's on the back burner right now during the primaries as the Republicans are focused on each other, but come the general election, she is not going to feel good about those scandals. All right, so, so Mark, can Hillary Clinton turn this around from the scandals of 2015 that dogged her and move forward, especially uh, she has to deal with Bernie Sanders on her heels? I think she already has. I think she's a huge winner in 2015. I think Benghazi, <laughs> an email is in the rearview mirror. She sat for 12, oh 13 hours, I forget how much, in Benghazi. Knocked it out of the park so hard Republicans don't dare bring it up again. She's way ahead of the oh, polls. She's a huge winner, and she's the next president of the United States. <laughs> okay, well, we, uh, we cleared up Mark's prediction for 2016 now. Thank you. Uh, we'll get to those in a so. minute. Uh, we'll return now to the Republican side, uh, Jeb Bush. Mark, winner or loser? Huge loser. Jeb came in as the favorite. He came in as the, the presumptive Republican nominee. He's now at 3% in the polls. I think that exclamation point is about to turn upside down. Oh, all right. So, so Emily, uh, is there a way to keep the exclamation point uh, right side up for uh, Jeb come 2016, or is this one over? You know, I can't really argue with the loser status there, but he actually has some traction in New Hampshire. I think that is something to look out for. Um, but no, overall, I don't think it's been a good year for Jeb Bush, and I don't think 2016 will be either. All right, I'm going I'm to give you guys each a final word of a prediction. Who will be the biggest winner of your respective party in 2016? Emily, first. It's going to be, I, I mean, I think in general, what we're going to see in 2016 is either Marco Rubio or Ted Cruz, both senators, both with strong conservative records. They will probably, one of them will be a big winner in 2016. That's my bet. All right, Mark, and your bet, or did we, we already heard your Repeat bet. All right, so, you know, Emily gets the last word. We already heard your President bet, Mark. President Hillary Rodham Clinton. Uh, you, you, no, you can't, you can't double that. We're, we're going to give you winner status, though, as you take the oath in the Virginia House of Delegates. Good luck, Mark. Emily, appreciate you guys being here. Thank you both. Thanks, All right, Thanks, guys.